Hi y'all, today we're going to emboss some text. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am just going to grab some random text. So what I want to do with this is I'm going to ungroup it because we're just going to use a one out of these three texts in this group. So what I want to do now is I want to go, it already has an effect on it, so I want to go ahead and I want to take that effect off. So here's my text. What I want to do is go to the background and change the background to the same color that my text is. So I'm going to change it to that color. And as you can see here, now it's disappeared. Click on my text. I want to go back into my edit. And then I want to go into shadows. So I'm going to click my shadows, change my color to black. As you can see, it's kind of close. So I want to change my um, offset to very tight on the edge right here. So you see how tight it is right there? I want to add some blur to it. I want to move my blur up. See how it's softening that? And I want to turn the transparency down. And the reason I want to turn the transparency down on this is because I'm going to stack these at least three deep to give it more depth. So the more I stack it, that dark, that black spot is going to get darker and darker when I stack it. So we want to turn the transparency down so it doesn't get too dark. So I'm going to cut it down to about 20. And then what I want to do now is I'm going to take this and I am going to duplicate it. I'm going to line it up on top. See how it's getting darker? That's why we want to turn that transparency down. I'm going to click out of it, click back in it. I'm going to use my arrow key and I'm going to go over to the left. Two. One, two, and three up. And then when I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that again. Line it up on top of the one that we just did. Click out. Click back in. Go left two. Go up two. And that's starting to give you that depth. And see the darkness right here? It's because we're layering it. So that's why you want that transparency down in there. And then we're going to do it one more time. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to put it here right on top but we're going to go back into our shadows so i'm going to hit our effects go back into our shadows i'm going to change the color to white now what i want to do is i want to change the direction so i want my direction at the top and on the back side here so let's change the direction and you'll see the direction and you want to see it where it kind of goes see how it's going to the top right here and around the edges so that's where you want that to go and then you can change the transparency. You can add some blur up to it to finite it. And you can change the offset and pull it in a little bit or pull it out, depending on how you want it. And then take that blur just a little bit and soften those edges. And there you go. And that's how it is. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We used to have the old editor where you could do multiple uh, shadows on the same piece, but you don't anymore. So you have to do the slayered effect. And personally, you could do it with just two layers if you want to see what it looks like with just two layers. We'll take this first one off. We'll just take these two off here. And we'll put these over top of each other. And you can do it a little bit with the two layers, and it'll give you that kind of effect too. Let's go and bump that a little bit. Bump, bump. That means I'm using my arrow keys. So you can do it with two, and I'll take that top one. Let's go into the top one. Take that shadow and then let's see if we can offset that in a little bit tighter so you can do that that way and then if i go into my position and i want to grab the one that's behind it let's go and take that shadow and then we'll take the transparency up on that one so you can also just do it with two but i think it looks a little bit more to better when you layer it if we go back and layer it multiples but that's personal preference and that's how you do that easy peasy lemon squeezy and i thank you for stopping by i'll see you on the next one bye y'all